vehicle with a surface covered of fiberglass. It's four tonnes in its weight, 13 metres long, 9 metres high and 6 metres wide. So <laughs> Hello! Right, this week on DNA, or this episode, we are in... Can you guess? Wajin, the big ram. And it's big. It's pretty big. We have um, driven from Albany today, and at least there's a bit of blue sky. <laughs> <laughs> and of course we stopped at the bakery in uh, Mount Barker and had, a, Dave had a pepper steak and half a sausage roll. I had half a sausage roll and a crow muffin. Crow muff or something. Who knows? I don't know. It was a mixture <laughs> between a crow nut and a muffin. A it was a cruffin. A croissant. Oh. And a cupcake. Jesus. Anyway, it was good. It had it had a bit of custard in it. Mm. She ate it, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Too sweet for me. Yeah. But the pie and sausage roll were good. Mm. Alright, let's have a little wander around town. Okay. Okay, as I was just asking Dave what it's made of, so it was built from steel with a surface covered of fiberglass. It's four tonnes in its weight, 13 metres long, nine metres high and six metres wide. So, wow, that's pretty impressive. Nice little play area. This is right outside the, the Shire office. Yeah. Uh, right on the main street. Yeah, as you come into Wager. Big playground, fine fox behind the back there. There's this big wood one. Picnic areas. Picnic tables. Nice turnaround spot there. New van. Oh, that guy's boots open. Does he realise that? <laughs> Are we tell him his boots open? <laughs> There's two playgrounds actually. There's one further over. Oh, look, Indy, there's some water. <laughs> what a nice little stopover. Oh. I think that's even like a little BMX track over there. Yeah, the caravan park's over that way. Straight through them trees. It's like a little wet area. Um, like a wetland. Yeah. Very nice. Oh, look, they've even got a little quick hold your dog on while you go to Lee. Okay, so cute little town. Uh, fun fact, the word Wajin means um, place of emu. No. Well, yeah. The emu's in it, that's a uh, watering spot for emu. Hang on, hang on. Place of emus, it says. I was right, he was wrong. No, never. Yes. Anyway, we decided that uh, we wouldn't stay there, and it's quite early in the day. It's only 12.52, so we're going to mosey on. So our, ma our main goal is we're, we're wanting to get towards Pingerley. Today, just have yeah. Just look up there today. So we just thought we'd stop and have a look at the big ram. Um, lots of old pubs um, in Wagen there. It looked really nice. Yeah, very tidy little town. So, yeah. Anyway, well, well, we've just gone through Narragin and now we're at Cabelling. Look, Narragin's quite a major town, like there's got everything you need, but we like these old old little tiny towns, this little dog. We just see him wandering off. Oh, he's going back to, yeah, he's going back to his owner. But we've just pulled outside the coolest pub, Cabelling um, tavern. tavern. And it's a free camp at the back of it. Yeah, so, so if you're wanting somewhere to camp yeah. for free, but like, like we said, we're on our way to Pingley, so we're just, there is a free camp at a dam. I think it's only what, maybe 10 or 15 k's from here for yeah. between here and um, Pingley. So we'll call in there and have a look. And if that works out for us, we'll camp the night, but we'll find out when we get there. Of the night. I reckon we should. There's um 
quite a few little walks in that around here too. Yeah, there's just a walking trail through there. Did you get the thing of the sign? The... Yeah, yeah. Right, and there's some toilets up there. <laughs> We're the only people here. Bonus. So it's a 72 hour free camp. Barbie. And yeah. Got picnic tables. Oh, they, they come down here. There's even a playground for the kids. Might be able to get a bit of editing done this Arvo. Yeah, for next week's episode. I've only got some drop done in. Yeah, for you in the morning. Yeah, why not? <laughs> I mean, I mean, enjoyed us. It's too cold to go for a swim anyway. <laughs> Although when we're in Albany, the, the people still swimming in the ocean was unbelievable. I know, like, are these people crazy? They're they must live in Antarctica or preparing something. Preparing for Tassie, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Checking out the dunny. Oh, look at the old latch. Okay. Yeah, it's even got toilet paper and a spare one. Ooh, very good. There we are. And there we are over there. And we might even get to use the firewood tonight. Maybe. Says we can. Yeah, we'll see. Where, um, then, then Nick will be complaining every he smells of smoke. See how chilly <laughs> it gets. <laughs> All right. How's your second night's worth of stew? Oh, I don't know. All I can see is light. Lamb stew. Pretty by, good. By the fire. Pretty good. Who made this? Me. Oh, <laughs> You're a funny little... <laughs> Person? Hmm. Indy? You just put it in the microwave and heat and it doesn't mean you've cooked it. Of course it does. Anyway... Have a good night. Season money. Cheers. So just saying, can you let Val know to keep an eye on the fire? Yeah, going to bed, Val. You're in charge. Val's our neighbour. Night. <laughs> she loves the fire. <gasps> Love you, Val. We are at your Nanning Dam. And there's a little bit of history. So the dam was built in 1896 to provide water for steam trains on the Great Southern Railway going from Perth to Albany. Your Nanning Town boasted a school, a post office, a general store and a railway station with refreshment rooms. You can see the site of the Your Nanning School on the right as you drive from the highway turn off to the dam. The dam was originally supplied by the Hotham River South Branch Cabelling Brook, but this proved inadequate for the railway needs and in 1909 poor water quality in the river turned the dam water salty. So yeah, um, great little stay. Good morning. Good morning Dave. Morning. So we're going for a little walk on the walking trails here at your Nanning Dam. It seems a really lovely little spot so let's go. And she's off. <gasps> the ducks. No chasing the ducks. So it's just a lovely little 10 minute walk around the dam. So nice way to start the day off in case I find a bakery. <laughs> bakery look these woodlands through here are, um i really love them it's um i don't know it just makes you feel like you're in the middle of nowhere yeah it was a really quiet sleep last night there was other campers here too so but everyone's spread right out you can't really see all of them so 
it was really really good but what a gorgeous little spot check it out And we're lucky enough that there's no other dogs here, so we've managed to let her off the lead and let her have a good run before we take off in the car. Go, Wendy! So we've just pulled over because Dave's gone to the local butcher in Pingley. So I'm fussy with snags, so we'll give him a whirl. <laughs> um, being a butcher myself and making all my own stuff, you get used to how you make them. So we'll just see how this goes. But we've got six, we'll try them out for, I don't know, lunch or tea. Might, I might even have breakfast for dinner or something tonight. Put them in a wrap or something, who knows. Um, we were gonna stay here in Pingley, but it's overcast and we've solar. got hardly any solar <laughs> so we might sort of head towards wandering, wandering Boddington, Boddington something like somewhere that. around there just have a bit of a drive it's it's only Early. up past 10 so <laughs> we've got to try and get a bit more power back in the batteries all right whack so I'll put in these the in the fridge and then we'll we'll start heading out Alrighty. just gonna swing you around how beautiful is this area so we're just parked up there. So we've just popped into the Wandering Cemetery as my mum's just let me know that um, my great grandmother is buried here um, and aunt and uncle. So we're just gonna go and check it out. Anyway, we just passed the Wandering Tavern. Pretty sure that's the one that my auntie used to name, which is my nana's sister, long, long time ago. And we've even got a street named after the Mellows family here as well. Just coming up to it now. And there it is there. Well, that was a very short town. <laughs> Not much here at all, but very pretty. Good morning. Morning. Well, we went to wandering and we decided not to go back in towards civilization to the mainstream, that we come back out to Pingley and then we've come up to a town site, an old town site called Cool Yanning, I think. We'll put it up and oh, you can cool, have a look. Cool Yelling. Cool Yelling. Sorry if it's pronounced wrong. Right, so I'll just show you down here. So it used to be a a town site, which no longer is. So 89, 1889 to 1946. Yep. And this old bloke popped in yesterday, yeah. had, a, had a bit of a yarn to Dave. Yeah, so as I was, we'll, I, we'll just show you where we are. We're just parked over there. We're the only ones here. And it was nice, really, nice it was and quiet. quiet. Even though the the road's just there. The road's the just on there. The railway line's just over there. But, you know, I didn't hear anything until about five o'clock this morning when yeah. the cars started travelling up and down the road. But prior to that, it was dead quiet. Yeah, it was a really good sleep. Yeah. So this old fella come in and he just says, oh, are you from around here? And I said, oh, no, we're just passing through. We stayed at the dam last night and we just pulled in here. He says, I used to go to school here in this very spot. <laughs> So um, there's still quite a few people around. He said they still got the farm, um, but his grand, his son and grandson, grandson live in town. Um, no, 
Is it? They're on the farm. He's oh, he's, he's moved in to town. town. Yeah. But he's still potters out there every day. So that was here until 1946. So, yeah. you know, he must have been well in his 90s, I suppose, yeah. 80s or 90s. And still driving. Still driving. Yeah. He was very alert. So it just goes to show, you know. You keep moving. Keep moving or lose it. That's it. Or use it or lose it. That's yeah. what they say. That's so. what they say. Now, now we've got to... Look at your dog. The pig's been loving it. What are you doing? There's um, no one else here, so we've just let her off the lead and she's just hanging around. She's the having a wow of a time. <laughs> so, bit of a dilemma. We've um, I've run out of beer. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're going to head in towards northern now, um, pick up some beer, but we're thinking we might head on the other side of Great Eastern Highway up into uh, Kooya Nobbing, um, Corda, all those sort of little towns up there and have a look up there. Someone said that there's, at Corda, there's a caravan park, which is not normally us. Oh, that's our mate Kenny. Yeah. Oh, hi, Kenny. <laughs> um, but the reviews on the park are, are really good. Yeah. Um, cheap as chips. So we thought we'd go up there, do a bit of editing. Bit of washing. Um, Nick can get some washing done. We'll have a stroll through town and have a look what's there. But I think someone did put on Wikicam said it was... $27 a night, but if you stay for three or more nights, you get it for $20 a night. So, pretty good. Pretty good. So, we might just head up there and have a wander around and see what's there. Ready to go? You ready oh. to go? Oh. Let's go. Get in the go. car. Get in the car. Come on. Are we going? Oh. Are we going? Oh. Woo! Let's oh. go. Get me in. You are already going to leave me oh. behind, are you? Oh, <laughs> She just jumped straight back at you then. <laughs> what are you doing? I think it's not excited to go, it's worrying about getting left behind. I reckon so. <laughs> right Let's go. So we've just come through Darren and I've just made Dave pull over. Check out these cows. Go up to them. Me and cows don't mix. No, they're you know on the that. other side of the fence, you'd be right. They look very large. He's like, mate, what's this chick doing? Right, so we've just, we went to quarter. It wasn't for us. There was a caravan park there, but uh, I think you just park in and then someone comes and sees you, but it wasn't a lot for us to see there. So we've come out to Marshall Rock. So we had to go to almost to Ben Cubbon and then come 4Ks out of town and turn down to Marshall Rock, which is just over there. But as we, we come into the corner here, there was a lady parked here and we, she says, oh, you want to see something cool? So I said, yeah, all right. So there it is, an echidna, another one. Not now that... <laughs> How many have we seen? This is the third one we've ever seen. No, nah, fourth, I think. I think we've seen one in Durian Bay. So this makes number four. Pretty cool. All right, what are you doing? Putting beer in the freezer? Yeah, well, we managed to get a carton, but it was hot, but never mind, some's better than none. Okay. So it's cold enough to, but I want the next ones to be colder. There's one for you. One for them. Oh, <laughs> God. God, she's hopeless, eh? Couldn't cheers to save a life. <laughs> Righto. So we had a fairly big day today. We drove, I'm going to try and hide behind me. <laughs> no, because the sun's there, so I thought it might be glary. So, we drove from... Oh, where were we? It's been a day, The, o the other side of Pingley, wasn't it? From that, um, yeah. the old town site. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So, we drove into Northern. Um, went to Aldi, got some fuel. Went to the beer shop. Went to the beer shop. And then we drove to Corda. Corda. Now, great reviews. 
But for us, we're just sitting in a caravan park. That's not us. We sort of. I did have a walk around with Indy, and it was super, super clean. Like I would highly recommend it if you were to park up there. Um, they had a great camp kitchen. Um, some barbecues. I couldn't get over how clean everything was. It was there were dirt sites, so for for us, we we're, we're just yeah, not caravan people. And I just sort of thought not wasn't, caravan people. Or caravan park people. <laughs> I but, just kind of thought if we're going to pay and it's not going to be a grass patch for Indy, we might as well come out and have this beautiful surroundings. Yeah, okay, okay, two seconds. Mm. Okay, get grab a breath. Have a drink. <laughs> so caravan parks are good. If we needed water and had a heap of washing to do, well then we would have stayed there for one or two nights. But we've got full tanks, we've got plenty of battery power, and- Always lots of clothes. Oh yeah. So we're gonna try a little experiment tonight. We're gonna cat, once we, we're not real dirty because we're just virtue driven. So we'll, when we have a shower, we'll save the water. Yeah. And then we'll put it in the wash machine and just you know wash out the clothes in that and yep. then we'll rinse them in fresh water from there and um, see how that goes. We're also doing a bit of a check with the um, the dinner tonight with the silver side to see oh, how yep. we go too. So I've got the um, pressure cooker on and I've got a corn silver side in there. Um, we, we started with full battery, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Um, I have worked out that I can actually put the car plug the car into the inverter in the car and just use the battery charger in here and it, I can put 20% in in about or well, an hour and a bit, hour and a half gives me 20% build up on my battery. So it's not bad, it's what, 30%? Yeah. 30, nearly 60, 60 amps. Yeah. So that's good. So we'll just give you a spin around where we are. I've already done that. Oh, she's already done that. I'm onto it. She's on something, that's for sure. <laughs> So that's Marshall Rock up there. The pigs laying down there. Flies are just starting to disappear. So and, um, we're going to leave this one here, guys. So we'll see you next week with the rest of the trip. Yeah. So, back towards. So we'll end at this one here. Yep. And then we'll actually start the next one here as well. So uh, <laughs> it'll be Marshall okay. Rock and the surrounds for here. We're, we're planning on staying a couple of days. So cheers. And Catch you next week. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay. It's free. Shoot See the ya. Flies. Shoot Bye. The flies. Shoot the flies. Shoot the flies. <laughs>